An SSID is a unique ID that is used for naming wireless networks. Creating an SSID for your enterprise network allows you to establish and maintain wireless connectivity. To create an SSID for your enterprise wireless network, on the Cisco DNA Center homepage, go to Design and from Network Settings, select Wireless. Under Enterprise Wireless, click Add. Under Enterprise Wireless Network, you carry out these settings. In the Wireless Network Name SSID field, enter a unique SSID name. The SSID name can contain 1 to 32 alphanumeric characters. All special characters are allowed except for the less than sign and the forward slash. Also, you cannot use a period followed by an asterisk, use more than one space. Choose the preferred type of enterprise network to define quality of service settings. Voice and data optimizes the network to access both voice and data traffic, while the data only option optimizes the network for wireless data traffic. Check the Fastlane checkbox to set the iOS devices to receive an optimized level of wireless connectivity and enhance the quality of service. To broadcast the SSID using WPA or WPA2 encryption, move the Broadcast SSID toggle button to the ON position. If you choose not to broadcast the SSID, you must manually configure the SSID on corresponding clients to enable them to automatically locate and connect to the SSID of the controller when it is within range. Next, choose the required wireless option. Note that by default, the dual band operation creates a WLAN for both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequencies. Choose an encryption and authentication type for this network. There are three security options, WPA2 Enterprise, which provides a high level of security with EAP, WPA2 Personal, which provides passphrase-based security, and Open, with no security. Enable MAC filtering to limit your wireless LAN to MAC addresses that you manually add to the network. To use WPA for authentication key management, choose Adaptive or Disable under Fast Transition. To use Fast Transition for authentication key management, choose Enable. Fast Transition ensures less disrupted connectivity when a wireless client roams from one access point to another. Now that you have created an SSID, you must associate it with a wireless profile. This profile helps you to construct a topology, which is used to deploy devices on a site. To do this, click Next. If you do not have an existing wireless profile, click Add to create a new profile. Creating a wireless profile helps you tag and uniquely identify your wireless network. Enter a name for your wireless profile. From the Select Interface drop-down list, either choose an existing wireless interface or create a new one. To create a new wireless interface, from the Select Interface area, click the plus sign. Enter an interface name and VLAN ID. Click Add. Select Flex Connect Local Switching to enable local switching of data packets for the WLAN. Enter the VLAN ID of the interface in the Local to VLAN field to enable Flex Connect. The VLAN ID can range from 1 to 4094. Click Sites to assign the profile to a site. Under Sites, choose the site, building, and floor where the SSID in the wireless profile is to be broadcast. Click OK and Add you'll see that the wireless profile has been created successfully. The newly created profile appears on the wireless profile page and is automatically selected. Click Finish to associate it with the SSID. The last step is to create an IP-based access control policy to filter traffic between IP network groups. 
On the Cisco DNA Center homepage, go to Policy, IP-based access control, and from the IP-based access control policies, click Add Policy. If you have selected FlexConnect local switching in the wireless profile, a FlexConnect policy is added. If not, a standard policy is added. Click Deploy. You've now successfully created an SSID for your enterprise wireless network and associated it with a wireless profile.